So, next goes to underground stem modification. Underground stem modification is also called as multi-purpose stem modification. That means, underground stem modification is also called as multi-purpose stem modification. Also called as multi-purpose multi -purpose stem modification. What is meant by multi-purpose stem modification? Why the name here given it as multi-purpose stem modification means this uh, underground stem modification, it performs uh, first function that is nothing but uh, it stores uh, food material, stores uh, food materials, uh, it stores uh, which materials? Food materials in the underground stems. As it stores food materials in the underground stems, it is protected by herbivorous animals, no? Yeah, that is nothing but protected from this underground stems, they are protected from herbivorous animals, protected from herbivorous animals. And these st underground stems plays an important role in vegetative propagation, plays an important role in vegetative propagation. And fourth one that is nothing but, it also plays an important role in perination, it also plays an important role in perination. So, this underground stems, why that is called as multi-purpose stem modification as it performs four functions. What is the first function that is nothing but stores food materials in the underground stems protected from as these food materials are stored in the underground stems whether they are protected from herbivorous animals. Yes, they are protected from herbivorous animals and plays an important role in vegetative propagation. That means, if any part of the plant is getting separated from the mother plant, that separated part of the plant can grow as an individual plant and whether it plays an important role in perination, yes, it plays an important role in perination. What is meant by perination? That means, in this word, whether you see that there, that is nothing but perennials means yes. In this word, we can see the word namely known as perennials. What is meant by perennials? The plants which complete their life cycle more than two years, that is nothing but perennials. For, for example, if this underground stems, it fav if it favors unfavorable conditions. Sometimes, if these underground stems, if they are facing unfavorable conditions, at that time no preparation of food is present, but it can survive during unfavorable conditions. Why? Because at that time, it is accepting the food materials which are stored in underground stems. So, it leads a perennial life. So, it leads which life means perennial life. So, this is about underground stems which are nothing but multi-purpose stem modifications. Why? Because this underground stems, it is useful in many ways. It is useful in many ways like this four characters. So, it is called as multi-purpose stem modification. Of that one, it is nothing but underground stem modification. One, it is nothing but rhizome. What are the examples for rhizome? One, it is gingiber officinalis. Gingiber, gingiber officinalis. It is nothing but uh, ginger. Next, second one, it is nothing but curcuma elonga. Curcuma elonga. It is nothing but curcuma. It is nothing but uh, curcuma. What is the third example? That is nothing but banana plant also shows rhizomata stem. That is nothing but musa paradisica. Musa paradisica. It also shows this is nothing but banana plant. This is nothing but banana plant which also shows rhizomata stem which also shows underground stem. And fourth one that is nothing but dryopteris. Fourth one that is nothing but which one here? Dryopteris. It is belonging to it is belonging to pteridophyta member. It is belonging to which member? Pteridophyta member. All these three examples belonging to angiosperms, but whereas Dryopteris it belongs to Pteridophyta member. 
and I will as well as another example that is nothing but a Gloriosa. That is nothing but a Gloriosa superba. It also shows rhizomata stem. It also shows uh, it belongs to which family? Liliaceae family. It belongs to Liliaceae family. Gingiber officinalis. It is one of the dicot. That means uh, in angiosperms, uh, Gingiber officinalis. It is one of the angiosperm. Curcuma longa. It is also. One of the angiosperm, Musa paradisica, it is one of the angiosperm belonging to monocots, Draptoris, it is one of the Pteridophyta member, Gloriosa superba, it is one of the Liliaceae member, it is also belonging to monocot only. And here in your textbook they explained taken as, which diagram means taken as gingiber efficienalis diagram. Here what happens means, In this uh, gingiber efficienalis, rhizome is dorsiventrally differentiated. That means uh, from dorsal side, from dorsal side, terminal bud is present. This terminal bud gives rise to aerial shoot. This terminal bud gives rise to aerial shoot. Terminal bud gives rise from dorsal side, terminal bud is present, which gives rise to aerial shoot. That is, it is producing normal green leaves. Normal which leaves here? Green leaves. When we are moving towards ventral side, ventral side it is differentiated into adventitious roots. Ventral side it is different. Ventral side it shows which roots here? Adventitious roots. Ventral side it shows adventitious roots. And one more thing. Here in this rhizome, whether it is differentiated into nodes and internodes means yes, it is differentiated into nodes and the space present in between two nodes itself it is called as internodes. Space present in between two nodes are called as internodes. From the node area which one should develop? Leaves should develop. That leaves whether they are reduced to brown colored scaly leaf, yes. That leaves they are reduced to which colored scaly leaf? brown colored scaly leaf that leaves they are reduced to brown colored scaly leaf that means here it shows how many types of leaves means it is nothing but brown colored it is nothing but brown colored scaly leaf that means this rhizome it shows how many types of leaves two types of leaves one it is normal green leaves and second one it is second one it is brown colored scaly leaves can we apply the technical word that is nothing but dimorphic leaves can be seen here? Yes, it shows dimorphic leaves. So, in this rhizomatous stem, it shows dimorphic leaves as it shows normal aerial green leaves as it shows underground brown colored scaly leaves. So, we can use the technical term that is nothing but dimorphic leaves can be seen. And what is the function of this brown colored scaly leaf? What is the function of brown colored scaly leaf? The function of brown colored scaly leaf, it protects axillary buds and terminal buds. It protects which buds and which buds? It protects axillary buds and terminal buds. It protects axillary buds and terminal buds. Now, in this, which one plays an important role in vegetative propagation? That means, these are nothing but axillary buds. These are nothing but which buds here it is called as? axillary birds. These axillary birds not only stores food materials and it also plays an important role in the horizontal growth of the rhizome. Why? Because the rhizome whether it is showing horizontal growth or vertical growth, the rhizome shows horizontal growth beneath the soil. That means here the axillary bud it not only stores food materials and it also maintains the horizontal growth of the rhizome. If this, uh, this axillary buds gives rise to daughter rhizomes also, this axillary buds gives rise to daughter rhizomes also. That means it plays an important role in vegetative propagation. Plays an important role in which one here? Vegetative propagation. Once again, I will explain here. Rhizo underground stem modification, rhizome, gingiber officinalis, ginger, curcuma elonga, curcuma, musa paradisica, banana, Dryopteris, Pteridophyta, Gloriosa, Liliaceae family, 
and it is a dorsi ventrally differentiated dorsal side terminal but gives rise to aerial shoot which shows normal aerial green leaves and whereas from the ventral side adventitious roots are developing and from this uh, the rhizomatous stem whether it is differentiated into nodes and internodes yes they are differentiated into nodes and internodes from the node area which one is developing leaves are developing but the leaves whether they are normal aerial green leaves no they are called as brown colored scaly leaves and what is the function of scaly leaves it protects uh, axillary buds and terminal buds due to the presence of brown colored scaly leaf and normal green leaves it shows dimorphic leaves and one more important point i forgot and here what happens means this normal aerial green leaves as it can perform photosynthesis due to which it can prepare their food materials that food materials they are moving in which direction downward direction that food materials they are moving in downward direction downward direction or basi petal direction or basi petal direction due to which that food materials are stored in rhizomatous stem and whereas this terminal axillary but not only gives rise to axillary but not only stores food materials it also maintains the horizontal growth of the rhizome and this uh, axillary buds gives rise to daughter rhizomes that is nothing but it plays an important role in vegetative propagation plays an important role in uh, vegetative propagation